The purpose of this video is to explain what's happening in the body with intravenous heparin. Heparin is a powerful anticoagulant, which means that it stops the blood from clotting. It can aid in blood flow and can be referred to as a blood thinner. Currently we have a patient who's looking a little blue. We want to give them intravenous heparin. Our first step is to set up their IV. Once we have the IV set up, we consult the order. Many times the first part of the order is to give a bolus. The bolus is typically a large dose of heparin. Here it is 80 units per kilogram. It is not per hour because it is given as an IV push. That means we'll use the syringe to administer the heparin through the IV tubing directly into the patient's veins. Their blood will distribute the heparin throughout their body for a nearly immediate effect. Let's give it a try. We'll calculate the amount of heparin by multiplying 80 units times the patient's weight. We'll pull the heparin into a syringe and administer it through their IV tubing. The heparin will flow into the patient. Now we see that the heparin is distributed throughout the patient. We see the patient in red. But the body is a living organism and it is constantly working to eliminate foreign objects. In this case, heparin. So as time goes by, the heparin is eliminated from the body and the concentration of heparin decreases, meaning that the blood is more likely to coagulate. We would like to offset this. And so the second part of the intravenous heparin order is for a heparin drip. You'll notice that this is a significantly smaller amount, less than one-fourth the units. It is still per kilogram, which means we'll need to multiply by the patient's weight. It is also per hour, meaning that it is an IV rate that we will set on the infusion pump. So once we calculate the correct rate for the infusion pump in milliliters per hour, the infusion pump will add heparin to the patient's body, hopefully at the exact same rate that the body is eliminating heparin. And we'll once again restore the heparin level. But we may be wondering, did we get it right? Did we get the heparin level exactly where it should be? We need to test the patient's blood to see what the clotting time is. So we'll draw some blood and send it to the lab for an APTT time, a clotting value that is measured in seconds. Based on the result from this test, we'll change or keep the heparin dose the same. We know what to do based on a heparin protocol. A protocol is a preprinted set of guidelines. If we find that the blood is clotting quickly, we may need to administer another bolus, or we may need to increase the IV rate, or both. If the blood is clotting too slowly, we may need to decrease the IV rate. If the blood is clotting too slowly, our patient may be at risk for hemorrhage. If the APTT level is within the goal range, we'll know that we have gotten the administration of heparin exactly right for this patient, and so we'll continue the IV without adjustment. I hope that that gives you a picture of what is happening with intravenous heparin. Our next step would be to look at an actual problem. On the bottom of your screen is a hot button that will allow you to go directly to a video explaining how to do an actual heparin protocol problem.